Live from the Civic Center in downtown St. Paul, WCCO Television Sports presents Hockey 88, the Minnesota State High School Hockey Tournament. The predictions are in and the pressure is on. It's time to determine who will be the Minnesota High School Hockey Champion. It's the Edina Hornets versus the Hill Murray Pioneers for the title. Brought to you by TCM, offering you loans for every need, plus a wide range of insured savings plans. TCM, where Minnesota banks and borrows. By the heartbeat of America, today's Chevrolet. By the Minnesota Dairy Promotion Council, American Dairy Association. And by your local Subaru dealer. the wearing of the green tonight. Good evening, everyone. Tonight at the St. Paul Civic Center, a schoolboy's dream will be played on powers. This is the 12th appearance in 14 years in the tournament for Hill Murray. They were the champions in 83, second in 80, 85, 86. Adina has won this tournament seven times. Their 16th appearance in 21 years. There's Matt Bertram, who I think to date has been the best goaltender in the tournament, but Scott Cardinal at the other end has been almost as effective. Get pressure, and now they bottle up along the boards, the puck comes loose, and up with it is locked, and now they beat it in the middle for Rick Davis, Davis beats beat, his man, Davis is in, McCoy on the left wing, scores! You don't get much prettier goals than that. A three-way passing play, they finally caught a Hill Murray defenseman committed, something they haven't been doing. They broke out a lead pass for Rick Davis. He comes down, he drags the defenseman over to him, and he passes across to big John McCoy, who's coming down the left side. Cardinal's going to commit out. Here's the pass from Davis. The McCoy coming across as Cardinal moved towards him, made a good little move, had a wide open net, and he dined it, jumps to the lead again. So Davis getting that pass from Humphrey and then giving it up to McCoy. And look at that move by McCoy. McCoy puts it away. Quite a goal, but what a great play by Rick Davis right here. He just freezes that defenseman long enough, takes a look, a little foot pass right down on the ice, on the stick, move across by McCoy, and a goal for Edina. 10-19 to go in the first period. Edina leading one to nothing. That's John McCoy's second goal of the tournament. At 4:41, McCoy with his... 12th goal overall this season. Rick Davis and Kyle Humphrey get the assists. And Edina has struck first here in the championship game. Hansen across the line. His wrist shot deflects into the corner. After it, there is Hardy. Hardy loses it. Here's a shot for the point. Big save. Bertram down. He goes. Rebound. They score! Hill Murray ties it on a goal by Mike Mark Tollisbowl. Mark Collisbo was able to reach that puck. Bertram came out. He gloved the puck. He couldn't quite hold on to it. There was a big pile up in front of the net. The puck comes loose. And Collisbo, one of the biggest forwards on that team, he was able to get that puck and backhand it into the open net. Collisbo, 6 feet, 190. He comes across right here. The big left winger has got a wide open net to put that time, time goal in there. A fine play by Mark Tallisball, the fellow who got a big goal last night for them. He gets another one right here with that big reach. And Collins, look at Collins going into the goalie here. This is a good move by Collins. He makes certain that that puck comes loose. Bertram couldn't hold on to it. Tallest ball right in the doorstep. A long reach. Everybody looking into the scramble for the puck. It just pops loose. And Mark Tallisball with a big goal to tie it. 7.32 to go. It's Craig Johnson, Tim Carroll, Todd Montpettit. That's Justice stealing the puck. Centers more, shoots, scores! Well, that pass was a slow pass coming across. The Hill Murray forward lost sight of it as it was coming right off the pass. Rob Morris shot it. The puck was barely moving, but Cardinal not reacting to his right. He was watching the pass come across. Look at this. You think Hill Murray's going to pick it up? Not picked up, and just a quick shot. 
right off the pass by Morris, puts Edina back in the lead. A pass across from Justice to Morris is going to put Edina in the lead 2-1 to one with a short side goal. That's just Rob Morris's third goal of the year. This is the fourth line with that added depth has paid off so, so well for Edina so far in this tournament, and it does again here in the championship. Royce just lost sight of that puck momentarily, turned around, tried to... The net centers in front, Hurley's shot is blocked. Five seconds to go, can they get a shot away? Here's Hurley in front, backhand scores! One second to go in the first period, it's tied. A power play goal for Hill Murray, a great move by Hurley. He kept the puck in, fed the puck off, got it back in front of the net and made a superb move, going to his backhand, getting Bertram down and putting it up and under the crossbar. Hurley, the dangerous player, the leading scorer in Hill Murray, who was kept off the board last night, certainly has come out with some opportunities tonight, and this one he cashes in. You see the feed off, he feeds to his right there, good work in front by Luger, taking the defenseman down. Hurley's able to control it. Look at that puck, up and under the crossbar, just in a perfect position. A good pass from Hagen on the right side, right here, is the one that frees Hurley. Watch this, he had to control a bouncing puck and put it under, in front of the net, Luger, doing a real good job interfering with the defenseman right there. So Hagen will get the assist, and Hurley will get the goal. Hurley second of the tournament is 13th of the year, 14-59, and these two teams will head to the dressing room, tied at two. Greg Hagen gets the assist. It is a power play goal. And what a first foot 180. Luger's a pretty big target. Here's a centering pass by McCoy. A shot, Cardinal down, they score! Ron with a second effort after Hardy's shot. The first save was made, and Cardinal was down. Ron was being taken down. He just reaches out with one hand and puts that puck away. A great effort by Noel Ron. He's got quickness, and he likes to hang around that net. Right there, you saw the centering pass come to number four, Hardy. Watch Hardy get the pass out of the corner. He's getting it on the backhand. It wasn't a good pass. It was behind him, but he got enough on the puck right here to get it on the net. And here is Ron just reaching out one hand. Look at that. Just puts the puck past the goaltender Cardinal after he made the initial save, but the bouncy puck right by the goal line. So a good play by Hardy to get the shot on the net. He completed the pass. Ron gets the goal. And the centering pass coming out really was a little behind Hardy, but he was had the presence of mind to put it right on the net. McCoy will get the first assist because he had come off for Humphrey. Humphrey would gotten hurt. He came off the boards, and he's the one that centered it out of the corner. No Ron scoring his first point of the tournament. His eighth goal. He got rid of it quickly, and up ahead it goes. And here breaking away is Robbie Morris. He has a goal, and Morris scoots in. Morris scores! What a goal by Rob Morris! What a goal is right. Hill Murray defense from gambling at the offensive blue line got caught. And Rob Morris, with great speed and excellent hands, was able to make an inside move on the other defenseman, pull the puck through him. And even while he's going down, he had the presence of mind to have that puck on the stick and go in. Now, I'm not... Oh, what a move he pulled there. Right through the legs. Rob Morris made a great move. See, here's where the defenseman's turning to the outside, and he pulled it inside and back to his forehand right into the net. You know, Lou, he's had two goals this season. He has two goals tonight. Boy, is he going tonight. Well, he'll get the goal and get an assist to Justice and also to Bickman because they passed it up the boards, and as soon as that defenseman moved, Justice knocked it out of the zone, and Rob Morris was gone. 